Hi, good day. Let me introduce myself. My name is Lin Pei Wen and the moment trips DI 200066. Currently, I am taking the course of UHB 12902 English Development and Engagement Section 37, which is taught by Dr. Narazato Hidayu Binti Kamarudin. In this video, I'm going to share my experience in completing the group project, which is conducted a talk show. Have you heard UTHM before? Maybe this song will bring back your memory. Ready? Let's go and listen. Okay, let's get back to our topic today. What have you learned? From this talk show, it has given me such a lot of life lessons that are invaluable, and here I'll point out three important lessons. So the first one is, whatever happens, be brave to step out from comfort zone and change your mind to talk to yourself. You can do it and you need to do it and you must do it. So don't feel shy to talk in front of people or voice out your own opinion. From this talk show, I learned to be brave to provide my idea in every meeting we carry online. Also, I act as a guy in this talk show to have a discussion with the host on the topic of learning process during the pandemic. In this talk show, I will always talk to myself, no matter what, once I have tried, I learn from it, even I have not performed as expected. Everyone learns from failures. Once you take a step forward, you are getting more closer to success. One who is ready to step out from comfort zone is, was, and never be left behind. And the second lesson is somehow related to the first lesson. It is about the opinion method. What do you think if rational and most able to apply in certain situation, you must express. And most importantly, at the same time, you should be ready to accept other opinion. Don't be blindly to debate others and we should respect them. Try to figure it out those relationships to produce a better opinion or result. And what if our opinion is totally wrong and not get to the point? Yeah, just admit it and accept other advice rather than making unnecessary argument and wasting the time. Time is pressure. Spend it on thinking more and more creative idea and not in useless argument. And the third lesson I learned from this talk show is look at things from a different angle. From this talk show, we discuss as a small opinion of many roles, for example, senior lecturer in public university, teacher in primary school, 
a university student, a current Form 5 student, and parents in the topic of learning process during pandemic. Each of them has own different struggle. Standing and seeing from different person perspective, it must help us to understand things in their different light, and sometimes it will avoid from unnecessary quarrel. With more tolerance and understanding other situations, a win-win and peace environment will be built. What personal development have you experienced? So here, I will point out three points of my personal development in short. First, I will listen and communicate with my group member. When one point out the difficulty we face, I will participate in the discussion and contribute my idea on it. If any of us have any question or doubt, I will try to help to solve that as possible as I could. And the second one is I am responsible for the task given and have a good teamwork and collaboration with my team members. I will try my best to submit the work and task divided on time. Sometimes, as a group member, I will do my responsibility to kind in my ideas to submit the task before they do that. Also, I promote my cooperation with my member and try my brand to stay clearly in writing the script from every role's perspective and completing the task work. And the third is time management. I always do my best to attend the meeting on time and never miss a meeting conductor. Without wasting time, the goal of the meeting will be set and we all strive to the point to have a meaningful discussion on it. One challenging experience and solutions taken to curb the problem. As a common sense, when there is a lot of people, there will come out a lot of ideas. Sure, everyone has own opinion and stand on one side. With this, the conflict follows. And so, if the conflict getting worse and some still stubborn and stick to own opinion, the situation happens. Yeah, luckily, this did not happen in our group and currently we have no opportunity to meet each other physically. Okay, so back to our topic. The challenging experience is when there's a lot of ideas and how we can make our decision in the same agreement. To handle with this, no matter in thinking the title of the talk show, preparing script or any preparation or discussion during or before the talk show, we will gather and discuss until the conflict is gone and we all are in the same agreement. We set a route and make sure each of us has asked all questions or that in the meeting on the spot so that we can solve it immediately with the help of everyone and leave no doubt behind. Fortunately, or our group member has contributed their own contribution and speak in gender tone to convince or communicate with each other in every meeting we carry. And our group member are no stubborn people and we are and we all are ready and willingness to assess other opinions. As the quote say, solve the problem or leave the problem, do not live with the problem, and us decide to solve the problem instead of living with them. One major change taken and whether the change taken was the right or wrong choice. It seemed to me the major change taken in conducting the talk show is the number of participants. At first, we plan for everyone to get involved. However, 
due to the time limit that is only 7 members, it get involved in this talk show and act as a host, a senior lecturer in public university, a teacher in primary school, a university student, a current for 5 students and 2 parents. It is hard to put on more and more roles and if there is more roles, the, time, the discussion time will be getting longer and your audience might get bored to watch the talk show until the end. At my side, such a change cannot be said to be a wrong or right choice but a more suitable choice for us to control and make sure the video is ideal duration and does not exceed the limited time to maximize the retention of audio interest. Thanks for watching my reflective vlog. Thank you. Bye bye.